So, hello everybody, and welcome to today's episode of <coughs> Who's Gaming Now? So, we've got some awesome stuff today. First of all, you folks may or may not recognize this game, The Land of Ias. And if you recognize it, it's because you've come around here and you've paid attention and been wondering, where's Carl Mundo been? What's Carl been up to? This is what he's been up to. He's going to be working on this till, uh... Uh, 2015 most likely because that's the release date so um, we're gonna be uh, enjoying this here a little bit checking it out and we've got the Kickstarter link there let me uh, post it one more time for anybody who missed it the Kickstarter for the land of is so Stones. Look into your past. The world right. There's. Not sure anymore. Alright. It's a conversation with some sort of a tree spirit going on here. Please find the seer stones and turn them to me. Then I'll be able to tell where your home is. Alright, well, let's get ourselves some Seer Stones. Now, we've got one other awesome bit of news today. Um, not only are we checking out the Land of Ias here, which is awesome, but we also have another um, awesome announcement. We have a new streamer joining the team here. The Who's Gaming Now team now has somebody who's going to be doing more long plays and longer sessions and that is noodle cat so definitely going to um, make a bigger deal of that uh, throughout the show here so everybody can get a chance to follow noodle cat that's on here with twitch tv with an underscore noodle cat with an underscore so Definitely give her a follow. She'll be doing a uh, block story all week here. Doing giveaways, showing off the game in full. It is going to be awesome. But anyway, back to the land of Ias. So, there is no pit. There is no falling and descending and exiting the world. That isn't this kind of world. There's the upper half and the lower half. And you have to manage them to get through the various different puzzles. Here, I gotcha. That is our, uh, our new streamer. She starts up um, just after I do in the, uh, for the morning shows here. get that donut. Didn't quite catch a jump off of it. It's that little kind of 
not quite a bonus jump, it's that it automatically jumps you when you're at the end of the, the block's path, so you have to catch it right before the end of it. You were right, thank you very much. There we go. It wasn't so much that I wasn't jumping off the middle as that I needed to get the run button going. <laughs> and I needed to use that momentum from where I was at to uh, get across. Back up to here. Yeah. I've actually completed about the first 20 levels um, when I restarted and started up a new game here so you folks will be able to see the early game. And there he is, Mr. Carl Mundo himself. So if you folks are... Uh, enjoying what you're seeing with this game definitely um, not only give them a follow of course but the um, that Kickstarter link that was posted earlier go there and throw some money at it because this game is going to be awesome I mean it already is pretty awesome So as you see, I've got to kind of get to the other side here and have that momentum take me across. So I had to kind of go down low and then basically jump through to get all the way back up to here. And then that sends me across to here. And this sends me across to here. And then I finish the level if I don't mess up that jump. But fortunately, I've got the momentum to uh, miss it. <laughs> you abra <laughs> yeah that will hum scream it'll get you <laughs> I want to say I'm so used to it that it doesn't even phase me anymore but sometimes it'll catch me if it's a quiet part of the game and I'm not expecting the tragic sound of poor Wilhelm getting shot with an arrow Hey, what do you mean I can't collect it? Carl, help! I want the thing! Whoops! I got squeezed there. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Tree! Hey, tree! I gotcha, donut!
Oh, I've been uh, muted for a little while there, huh? <laughs> Oops. Me and my coffee. So. We need to squish my book. Should be super gory. Nah, actually, the uh, the death consequence in this game is really funny. He just kind of sits there with a, a look on his face like he just peed his pants. I don't know if that's actually what's supposed to be communicated in the art, but that's just what it looks like to me and uh, other viewers who have uh, watched the game here. gets me back to here, so I need to go all the way up and around if I want to get that seer stone. Working on the death animations? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. be honest folks I could have played this level less effectively it would have been hard but I definitely could have played it less effectively get through that gap damn it <laughs> I want to get that seer stone <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it, don't you worry, folks. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's just a really difficult gap to hit. There we go, I got that one. I just gotta do the same thing on this side. There we go. And now I go get the box. Absolutely. A retweet contest. Sure, however you want to do that. I um I haven't actually done contests over Twitter that much myself. <laughs> so if you want to uh if you wanna rock that there and of course post the uh post the link when you get it posted, that's uh that'd be a great idea.
Pretty sure I need to hit that both ways there. Yeah, the zoom out to reveal just how big the level is. I really like this one. Yes! But did I need to do that first? I think I still needed to get the key first. Yeah, I did. That's fine. And let's say hello to this glowy thing here. Yes, home. That's what I said. A rude now. <laughs> I tried to make it look as proficient as possible. <laughs> <laughs> There's no save in that one. Uh. <laughs> Optional easier mode? Gotcha. Yeah, now this isn't... I can see some of the puzzles in this being a little frustrating, but the game is, you know, consistent and clean. There's no, like, weirdness with collisions or anything. This is one of my favorite levels right here, by the way. This is a very, very clean game. There's no... There's nothing about this game that's going to piss you off other than just your own, uh... Frustration and inability to complete some of the levels sometimes. <laughs> now where I go from here is a part that I don't 100% remember. Because I know I want to get that seer stone. Gets me up to here. That really doesn't do too much to get me further. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to come across from the other side. Honestly, I see no reason that this game wouldn't be able to hit all of its goals for uh, funding. This game's awesome. It's got the kind of puzzle mechanics that everybody enjoys. It's got worthwhile, challenging puzzles. I just got that seer stone. And 
then messed up my momentum. So I'll just have to redo, get some of this going again here. So Carl, did you say you start a um, a retweet contest? Oh yeah, I should return that stone so I don't uh, leave myself in a situation where I can't turn the stone in. Or where I can't collect the next one because I haven't turned the last one in rather. going with this for about another uh, 15 minutes before I have to move on to the next game of the day here. Of course, we are going to be playing it in the evening set as well, so I'll be able to uh, continue my progress and make it a little further. Oh yeah, this is the first level. See that, like, oh, I just peed my pants kind of look. Because the, the death animations aren't in right now, so it's just <laughs> All right, enough out of me. I think I enjoyed this level. It was just kind of buzzsawy a little bit. Oh yes, it is buzzsaw a little bit. But I do enjoy this level. I like that this one's the first one that's really got like, not just a little bit of death consequence, but a lot of death consequence. It's just kind of built in everywhere versus before it was just maybe getting squished by the blocks that would be a problem. this momentum going, I can use it to help me get the other key fairly easily. And yes, when you do an upside down ledge grab, you actually do have to press down to complete the, uh, the climb up. You, you can't press up. It's Just figured you folks might want to know. Oops. Gotta do the edge of those platforms. Oh! <laughs> Didn't quite get clear. I should have waited for to be on the way down. <laughs> I 
I like that you have to press down for it instead of up. It makes sense because you're upside down. Oops, I thought that had a, a little further it was going. Let me be a little bit more patient here. There's no reason to try to speed run it. Patient. That's a word that I said, wasn't it? There we go. Whoops. Good enough. Yeah, there are some larger levels. That's a good thing. I like it. I like the uh, the zoom functionality actually having to be used. So you can actually see everything. Instead of it just being the, uh, the size of the screen and then you're kind of lost trying to find your way around. Or having to do all these gnarly silly thing. Ah, I just kind of ran through that door. <laughs> That last final hazard for people who are not being patient. So yes, this level. Almost done. I swear. <laughs> Eighth overall? No. <laughs> I don't think there was a seer stone there. I don't have one in the over left corner, so...
Oh. I caught on the ledge grab by accident. You got it, Carl. It's a big level, there's a lot to it here. So at least I leave with the Seer Stone. Then I can always come back and not have to deal with the Seer Stone first. Which is nice. It's a good option to have. Kinda sounds like they're talking about humans. <laughs> Why are you still glowing? still glowing. I'm sure it has a good reason, but I am simply going to go back to the castle and give that a couple more attempts. supposed to actually go the lower path here. Allows me to get to here. Which then allows me to momentum across to this side. Which I need to be at in order to get the key. It's up over in the middle of the left there.
Now with the key, I have to kind of reverse myself to the other side there. See, I must advance to the next region. Well then. Oh, this is a new hub. Some sort of weird socialist constructivist zone or something. <laughs> I like it. Well, let's see what one of these levels looks like. See, this is the first part where we can actually grab the blocks. This level definitely appears to be more difficult. I have to feel like I have to grab the blocks on the up momentum. I can see that this one's not going to be an easy level, though. Not by a long shot. Definitely not an easy way to do this level that I can see. You have to kind of grab a block and then ride it across 
toss it down, and then do it again. It's just as much like the, the aspects of the puzzle as it is the fact that it's such a very particular jump to land on one of these blocks. Dang it. Definitely not an easy level. Because I've only been able to get one block over successfully. It looks like I need to get a bunch of them. Like I need to get five or six. I guess that's the, the easy way to do it, is just grab them before the very end and hope you don't die! Waiting for a pile of them to come through. I can see it. there's more to it than that though. Or at least it appeared there was more to it. <laughs> there you go, Carl. I really like the look of this zone. So what's it look like getting to the next tub over?
Ooh, Tesla Grad. That game is also really awesome. If you don't have it and you're not trying to win it here, you didn't try to enter the code, you're missing out. It's an awesome, 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 awesome game. I can't enter that yet. Cool. Well, that's actually kind of interesting because then you have to, I guess you have to jump out that way. Okay, that's not so bad. Alright. Carl, are you, uh, are you still rolling with the giveaways? Or, um, we've got a couple more games to get onto here, I think. I could keep on playing this for a while. Whoops. All right. Cool. Well, we will wrap we will wrap up for now with the land of Ice, but if you didn't already Go to that Kickstarter, throw some money down, get a part of this project going for yourself, reserve your copy. The, every copy, every code for the game has to be handmade in the uh, uh, Himalayas by uh, um, monks using very, very crude ancient tools. So definitely, you know, it's worth every penny you're paying for these. Um, you gotta gotta get on that Kickstarter. <laughs> I guess not every code is there. I'll shut up. I was trying to be funny.